I figure Maharaji at every plane of consciousness. Just, just. And that's an interesting model of planes of consciousness. I, I think beyond the planes that we all share, we actually don't know what the other know. planes of consciousness I know might I know. be. And from from the hints of the data of Maharaji and stories about Maharaji, he clearly could access information that yeah. other people couldn't access. And, uh, and I don't know if science will ever know how or why. But the the question of what state of consciousness, uh, you know, why he wouldn't react to a psychedelic, why he wouldn't create any discernible change in his behavior or being, might have to do with something that um, the Tibetan way of talking about meditation practice hints at, which is the, the word for meditation in Tibetan isn't meditation. It translates more literally as getting used to it. Getting used, getting to, used it. to it. Getting Boy. used to a, a, a way of being. And wow. that the goal is to get so used to it that you're completely stable in that other mode. So nothing nothing will take you out of that mode of being. That a realized being, what you've realized is complete stability in where the meditation can bring you or where the practice can bring you. So if you're completely stable, then nothing's going to take you out of it. Yeah, I was looking at you that note that in a way it seems like the effects of some drugs like the psychedelics has a way of kind of breaking up habitual ways of perceiving. And maybe Maharaj, you didn't have those habitual ways of perceiving. I don't think you had habitual. <laughs> <laughs> you can function on two planes at simultaneously. Like the witness and that which is witnessed. Mm -hmm. Or the soul <clears throat> ego. And then there's the question of a kind of you could look at it in terms of skill mastery. That's a skill, a kind of a skill of consciousness. Yeah, yeah. And maybe you can do it at first just a little bit and only occasionally, but the more you practice, the more often you do it and for longer until yeah. you reach the end of that learning curve, which is complete stability in an altered mode of perceiving. <laughs> 